That's incredible. What's up, everybody? I'm Maddie Madison, and today on God Save the Food, I'm gonna be making one of the greatest dishes of all time, fish sticks, fish fingers. What else do you wanna call them, fish batons? Do you know that there's over one million point something fish sticks eaten every single day? The fish stick, I think, is one of the most eaten things in the world. It's a fact, Google it. We got a videotape of some of the best chefs and people of Yarmouth. Today on God Save the Food, we're going to Great Yarmouth, one of the most beautiful places in all of the United Kingdom. Is it sunny? Is it rainy? Is it gray and dismal? I don't know. But I know one thing, Great Yarmouth is the birthplace of fish. It's where the first fish ever was created. Grab your oars, jump in the boat, and we're gonna row the boat and get some fish. Let's watch a video of the great people and chefs of Great Yarmouth. Matty, you might know them as fish sticks. Um, they're definitely fish fingers. If you come to Norfolk and ask for a fish stick, you might get something completely unexpected. Fish fingers were actually invented in Grey Yarmouth, just along South Quay, a place called Bird's Eye. Daniel's much rather like dirty and greasy, and Peter likes his a little bit posher. Everyone has their own version of this sandwich. If I was going to have a fish finger sandwich, it'd be on white bread. It has to be brown bread. No brown bread. Yeah, no brown bread. Tartar sauce. I would never have brown sauce. Salad cream on it. Fish fingers sliced. Battered fish fingers. A posh fish fingers yeah, always. Freshly done. Tomato ketchup on the top. Wrong. Tartar sauce on the bottom. Wrong. Toasted ciabatta with beautiful fish goujons. Fish goujons. Goujons is French for finger. I've gone for the maximum eight fish fingers. <laughs> you want this to be as filthy as possible. A fish finger sandwich is not an easy task to one to take. There's no right or wrong way of doing it but best of luck to you. I like this. The things that I'm seeing here, mustard, mayo, tartar sauce. Is it on white bread? Is it on brown bread? No, yes, I don't know. Ah, gah, gah, gah. The road seems muddy with the old fish goujons. I love the fact that this <coughs> guy called them fish goujons. Growing up on the east coast of Canada, guess what we used to have? Fried bread, fish fingers, gravy, and peas. This is gonna <coughs> you up. I'm making uh, my fish goujon with cod. I'm gonna cut it in half, okay? Look at this cod. Now, let's make it into fingers. If you can't find cod, you could use uh, cod. You can use paddock, halibut, tilapia if you even wanted to, tilapia. Whatever fish you like, you literally can bread it and fry it and do this. Look, see? We're making them the size of the finger. Fish fingers, done. So out of this, we're gonna probably, we could get, what's that? Two, four, six, eight, 10, three, four. <laughs> yeah, you can make a couple. We got our goujons here. I'm gonna put these into the fridge because we're gonna make our uh, breading station. We're not making a batter. I'm gonna do breaded like with panko, okay? I want these nice and crispy with breadcrumbs. Welcome to Fish Finger <laughs> Town. Hello? 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 So you wanna set these up in the fridge until you need them, okay? Okay, good talk. Yeah, just throw them in the, uh, in the oven. I'm just trying to show you how to make a really basic fish finger. It's flour, eggs, and panko, very easy. So breading station, everybody. We got a three bread station. We got dry, wet, dry, flour, all purpose. Throw in a bunch of it, yeah. Salt, of course. We season everything. Mix that around. Panko crumbs, babooch. Then we got eggs. Dun, 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 dun. Mm. Let's do six eggs, okay? Add just a little bit of water. Whisk up your eggs. Don't look at me. Don't look at me. There we go. Last time I was in the UK, I was walking. And there's people in these like masks, like balaclavas, and they had these like uh, weapons. They went into a bank and it's like, that seems odd. They ran out with just these giant bags of money. And I was like, hey, stop. And they looked at me and they're like, Maddie Matheson? Yeah. And they're like, can we get a photo? And I was like, yeah. And they're like, this is great. We just robbed a bank. And then they're like, we gotta go. And so as they were running away, they were just taking selfies. And I was just like, hey. 
But I stopped it. The Bobbies got them. The Bobbies ran down the street. All of a sudden, there's like circus music playing. And they're running around like a lobby of a hotel. And they're running in and out of doors all the way. And they're like, wait, where are you? And then one runs out, one goes in the door. It's mayhem. Fish sticks, fish sticks, fish goujon. This is gonna be my dry hand. This is gonna be my wet hand. Dry hand into the seasoned flour. And you wanna knock off any excess flour. Put it into the wet egg yolks, wet hand. Now the eggs cling to all the flour into the breadcrumbs. Dry hand, beautiful fish finger. Look at that. That's nice. Boom. What I got out of that is every single person ate a fish finger sandwich growing up. What I'm doing is bringing my nostalgia. And so I want to have gravy with mine because I grew up eating fish fingers with mash and gravy. I'm going to clean up. We're going to shallow fry all of these nice golden brown, OK? Sounds good to me. I'm going to wash my hands. See? And you don't have any clumps. Look, I got a dry hand. I got my wet hand. Egg yolks, little fishy. Flour, little breadcrumb, no clumpy clumpies, no gross fingers. Dry, wet, wet, dry. Hey everybody, we need some canola oil, some natural, natural, whatever. So fill your pan up halfway with canola oil, okay? Perfect amount. So we're gonna be shallow frying these. So all you need is a pan. So we're gonna just let this get up to temperature. Once this gets up to temperature, we're gonna add just a few of the fish fingers in, fry them nice and golden brown. By the time they become golden brown, guess what? They'll be cooked beautifully, cod in the middle. So just let this get hot. We could have probably had this on earlier getting hot, but you know, we didn't. So we sit, we contemplate, and we think of the United Kingdom. Oh, what's this? British tapas. Brown sauce, mayonnaise, ketchup, Worcestershire sauce. Is this a waffle? That's so good. Reaction is supposed to be real on this? Would I consider this tapas? No. Was that chicken or fish? I like the color palette. It's like different shades of brown. You go to a house party in the UK and this is what's on the table. Is this a nugget? It's heavy. I just hold this up the whole time. They don't eat SpaghettiOs, do they? Yeah. Yeah? There's an actual thing called a beige meal? I love going to the United Kingdom. I love Ireland, I love Scotland, I love England. It's my home away from home. My great grandparents are from Scotland. I, I bet I got a castle for sure and I gotta go get my kilt, paint half my face blue and you know, just charge. Just charge any enemies that I see. Okay, is this hot yet? Holy It's getting hot, hot, hot. We're getting hot, hot, hot. I'm always singing no matter what. Doesn't really matter. Cause in my head, there's nothing but squirrels running around grabbing nuts. Shallow fry in a pan. Zip, zip, zah. It's crispy town. Okay, look at this. Ah! We're gonna hit him with just a little bit of salt. Zest of some uh, lemon. Now, let's drop in the rest. Fish frying me some fingers. Are they sticks? I don't know, Goujon. I don't know, I don't. All I do is fish, fry, beautiful, panko. Mm -mm -mm. Ah, na, 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 oh, oh, no, no, oh, 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 no, oh. I don't want to say that this is like the most beautiful fish finger that's ever been created. Should I nibble one? Oh, it's so light and crispy. That doesn't taste like the fish sticks I grew up eating. That's incredible. That is bomb. Okay, first of all, do you want me to fucking roast this? F this thing. Okay, you sick. All this stuff literally tastes the same. I don't know what it is. Excuse me. You can't tell the difference between this thing and this thing. And then this thing, this thing's kind of cool. I've never seen this before and I kind of this actually. I think if you fry this in like duck fat, cover this in like sour cream and like caviar or something, that could be something cool. The SpaghettiOs could lick my butthole. The beans are tight. Worcestershire, let's go. Don't eat this shit. Mm. Okay, no more f***ing around, okay? We gotta make gravy, we gotta fry some bread, we gotta finish this, okay? We're gonna finish this together. Now, let's make gravy, check it out. I don't know 
know if I ate fish sticks that much growing up, but when we did, we often did have them with gravy. And I don't know if that's a weird thing or maybe that's a maritime thing or maybe that's just a, a Matheson thing, but uh, I loved eating fish sticks with gravy. <laughs> Oh, yeah, come, come, come. Okay, wouldn't you like to know how I make my gravy perfect every single time? Well, let me tell you. First off, you take two tablespoons unsalted butter. Then melt that into a pan of medium heat. Then guess what you do? I just spit on the camera. It's okay, we're gonna keep going. Then you add two tablespoons of flour, all purpose. Stir that into a beautiful roux. Little golden brown, a little nuttiness. Make it feel, make it feel like it wants to be alive. Then you know what you do? You switch to a whisk. Then you take that whisk and you whisk it. And then you add one cup of chicken stock. And at that moment, you bring it up to a boil and you see the consistency. It may be a little thick. Guess what? Add more chicken stock, just a little bit till you get the desired texture and viscosity of the gravy you're searching for. Then at that moment, once you get the viscosity, we're gonna add the flavoring agents. I'm gonna be adding poultry seasoning, a sage heavy, dried sage, dried thyme, heavy seasoning. Add that into the gravy. Then we're gonna add salt and fresh cracked pepper to taste. And a couple dashes of soy sauce. Soy sauce, you heard it here first. I love soy sauce and chicken gravy. Boom, done, gravy, perfect every time. Mm. We have our gravy consistency. Now, what I wanna do, is add some heavy cream, double cream, 35% cream, all great. Oh my goodness, let's try this. <laughs> I'm gonna do a little zest of some lemon, a little juice. Mmm, good job, Maddie. Chicken gravy and fish, chicken of the sea? Chicken of the sea? Chicken gravy for the sea. You take the gravy, you just pour it over the ocean. And it just, you lock that up. That's nice, that's called soup. Beautiful Pullman loaf. Nice and light, crispy. This is gonna be the base of our fish finger salad. Fish finger salad? There we go. Beautiful. Pullman loaf. We're gonna make this golden brown. Two big tablespoons of butter. Melt them into a pan. We're just gonna toast this up in the butter. There's so many things you can do. Once again, I'm rolling with everybody saying everyone's like it's a personal preference. My personal preference, open face fish sandwich. Peas, cheese curds, gravy, chicken gravy. Are you guys ready for everything? We're gonna build the very exciting fish finger sandwich. Open face. It's a sandwich. Is it not? I feel like it's a sandwich. It's an open face. A tartine, if you will. Mm. Pullman loaf. Take a knob of butter and just gently across, add just a little more touch of cold butter. We're gonna take our freezer peas. We're gonna put these into the gravy. Dump them in. So as the gravy warms up, Let's build our fish finger cabin. Put our cheese curds in there. Do you guys even have cheese curds over there? What would you use, cheddar cheese? What would you use? Maybe you get cheese curds, maybe you don't. Maybe some halloumi? Throw a piece of halloumi on there. And then we just pile up our fish fingers. Look at that, incredible. And now we get to pour our freezer peas with our gravy all over our perfect fish sticks. This is an avalanche of incredible flavors. Do you see that? Oh, mama. So all together, I think that my sandwich is the best. Yeah. I'm gonna try some. Can I try some? Holy shit. What do you do? You cut into it? Oh. Oh. Wow. Wow. I love this food. Oh, the squeaky curds. Holy shit. I don't know if this is like a sandwich. There ain't no <laughs> tartar sauce. There ain't no brown sauce. And this is maybe one of the best things I've ever eaten in my life. What are these dudes' names? All these people in Yarmouth? Peter, Daniel, and Ranch? Grant. Grant. P. 
Peter Daniel, Peter Daniel? Peter Daniel Grant? You fish fingers psychopaths, I miss you. I love you. Butter basted bread, fried fish fingers, peas and gravy, and cheese curds. Some may think eating cheese and fish doesn't go together. Well, guess what? Egg on your face, cause it goes. The great people of Great Yarmouth in the fish finger capital of the world. I salute you. I'm Maddie Matheson, and this is God Save the Food. Buckle the <laughs> up. More episodes coming your way. Let's rock. Woo! Fish fingers for life. Great Yarmouth, I love you. One day, maybe you can cook as good as I can. See you later, <laughs>